Hi friends, myself Pratyanshu. Today I discuss an interesting topic, optics. Today I discuss an interesting topic, optics. Basically, optics is that branch of physics in which we study about light. Optics is that branch of physics. Optics is branch of physics in which we study about light. We study about light. So basically optics is very interesting branch of physics in which we study about light. So basically this in this chapter we study about totally about light. So first concept, first question comes in the mind what is light? So basically the answer is light is a type of electromagnetic wave. Light is a type of electromagnetic wave light is a type of electromagnetic wave which are visible to us so after studying about optics we comes or first question comes in mind what is light so basically light is the type of electromagnetic wave which are visible to us which are visible to us so again a question what is electromagnetic wave again a question what is electromagnetic wave so basically first consider about electromagnetic wave I discuss about some brief concept of electromagnetic wave. So basically electromagnetic wave is a type of wave in which one component is magnetic field. One component is magnetic field and the other component is electric field. and other component is electric field you know about uh, magnetic field and electric field magnetic field is represented by capital B and electric field is represented by capital E so basically electromagnetic wave is a wave in which one component is magnetic field and the other component is electric field let's I take an example of electromagnetic wave by which you imagine what is the electromagnetic wave and how electromagnetic wave travel in the space so basically if I take an example let's say take a magnetic field component and the direction of magnetic field component is inward to the plane of paper this sign represents inward direction inward direction and I take electric component or electric field component in positive y direction and towards positive y axis. Magnetic field represents by yellow color and electric field represents by red color. So basically this is electric field direction and this is magnetic field direction and magnetic field is represented by capital B. So basically these two component oscillates about perpendicular direction of his own direction. If this is electric field direction then it oscillates in it is oscillate in perpendicular direction and in same manner if magnetic field is in invert direct invert to the plane of paper then it's also oscillate about its perpendicular direction then electromagnetic wave travels 
by v velocity towards x axis towards x axis so by brief in electromagnetic wave electric field component magnetic field component and velocity of wave these all are perpendicular these all are perpendicular if you see electric field towards plus y axis magnetic field towards minus z axis and velocity towards plus x axis and x y and z axis all are perpendicular axis so basically this is a electromagnetic wave let's again i discuss what is light light is a type of electromagnetic wave which are visible to us so in next page i discuss about how many types of electromagnetic wave and what is the range of light wave or we can say what is the range of electromagnetic wave which are visible to us so let's discuss in next page so now if i discuss type of electromagnetic wave type of electromagnetic wave if i discuss type of electromagnetic wave now first microwave radio wave infrared rays infrared this is radio this is micro so microwave radio wave infrared visual ultraviolet rays x rays and gamma rays mainly these type of electromagnetic wave and these type of electromagnetic wave and visual rays or visual region range about 3800 angstrom to 7600 angstrom in many type of books this this range or this wavelength range of visible region different different about 3900 to uh, 7800 so basically this is not a sharp range this is a flexible range so the range of visible region is 3800 angstrom to 7600 angstrom and this order in descending decreasing order of wavelength according to decreasing order of wavelength decreasing order of wavelength so basically this region is called this region of electromagnetic wave is called light or in other words or in in, in other type of definition we can say those electromagnetic wave which are which exist in this region is called light this region is called light in range 3800 angstrom to 7600 angstrom and in visual region seven colors are occurred with v i b g y o r in full form v represents violet i represents indigo b represents blue g represents green y represents yellow o represents orange and r represents red and in this diagram if this is the order of decreasing order of wavelength then maximum wavelength maximum wavelength for red color maximum wavelength for red color and minimum wavelength and minimum wavelength for violet color minimum wavelength for violet color and this whole diagram which represents type of electromagnetic wave in the in the language of physics is called electromagnetic spectrum electromagnetic spectrum 
so in this video i discuss about what is light and the introductory introductory concept of light so basically light is a type of electromagnetic wave which are visible to us which are visible to us in other language we can say type of electromagnetic wave which which exist in visible region is called light if you take an example of other type of electromagnetic wave like an x ray uv and gamma ray infrared radio wave and microwave these all electromagnetic waves are not visible to us are not visible to us if i take an example if you go for a doctor then go for a doctor and doctor examine your broken injury or any broken bone by x ray machine then doctor say to you you put your hand on x ray machine and after some time he say just remove your hand from x ray machine then after some time he gives you a x ray paper in which a broken image of your bone is shown on the paper then can you see x ray x rays insert or go in into your body and take a picture so surely your answer is no so basically x ray is not visible by your eyes so this is this x ray is not a type of visible electromagnetic wave so basically in this region only in this region those type of electromagnetic wave which exist in this region are visible to us and in the terms of or in language of physics are called light are called light so this is the total introductory concept of light i hope you understand what is the light and why we need to study optics so please download the scorer learning app and if you already download this then enjoy learning thanks to watching this video